I think the book's about three things, basically. One, it's the story of Scum of the Earth, which is a very unlikely story, as one guy put it. It's the story of how a very normal, middle-aged father of four finds himself with a bunch of skater punks in the Capitol Hill district of Denver and starting a church with these guys when maybe wisdom would have told me find a job with a real church that can pay you a salary and take care of your mortgage and your kids college so it's a story of scum of the earth that's one thing it's my story in that I'm not your normal pastor spent most of my life doing the stuff regular folks do, you know, working for a living in all sorts of secular employment. I've been a high school English teacher, I've been a worker at a steel mill where I almost got killed four times because I couldn't keep my mind on what I was doing. I was in sales and advertising, sold radio for a while, wrote radio commercials, even worked in UPS. So it's my story. And the third thing I think it's a uh, a primer. It's a kind of a how-to book for people who hate how-to books about the Christian life and how to live it and what's important. Not a step-by-step -step process like do this first, do this second, but you know these are general ideas of what it means to be a Christian. Like Christians should take risks. They should be the biggest risk takers in the world because. In one sense, you know where you're going to end up, even if you die trying. What's it mean to love? Love's a big part of being a Christian. Not just love of God, but love of others, and love of friends, and love of family. And then, what's it mean to work your tail off to follow God, and then also know that somehow God is carrying you? So th those are some of the lessons, I think, that are really important. So it's those three things. It's Scum Story, it's my story, and it's important lessons in the Christian life uh, from our perspective.